Hello, hello, my name is Callista, and welcome back to Cognition, an Erica Reed thriller. In the last episode, we teamed up with Cordelia to try and solve this little puzzle thing that Keith's kind of set up for us in the basement of the lake house, and I was well and truly stumped. So I had a look back at the footage and let me find my uh, my photos. So I tried all of the buttons that were never tagged throughout history, throughout these dates, but I did try the ones that were always tagged. So I'm gonna give that a go. So... Okay, um... Well, these two are always tagged. That one isn't... This one is... Not that one. That one. Oh! Oh my god. I was so close to solving that. Ooh. Ugh, I'm getting tired of this game. What are you going to do when we find Keith? He's going to answer for what he's done. What do you want it to be, Cordelia? I don't know. What matters to me is that he understands that I'm doing this for him, too. Maybe to make up for what he's done to all those people. For what he did to you and your brother. Maybe I should have come right to you, Erica, instead of trying to connect from a distance. What about what you've done? Yeah, um, so Cordelia did seem to show a bit of remorse in the last episode. She asked if Erica knew Davy's family. Erica didn't respond, but Cordelia does seem to kind of have a thing of, oh, she she had a family. How are they? Are they coping? Are they all right? Okay, so we have these figurines. Oh! Okay, blood buys him time. Oh, I'm... I'm gonna take these. Okay. Bars and Moon. Erica, Iron Maiden, Only Read Blood, Spikes, Glass Shard Wheel, Coffin, Blood by Some Time, Scott Trap, George Siblings. Okay. Can we... So we can't cog these. Okay, but, um... This is the door trap that killed one of Kane's victims. Okay. And... The door trap was, um, the Iron Maiden. It's an Iron Maiden. What a horrible way to die. Yeah. Um... What was the message for that? Okay, so we've got one, two, one, two, three, four. And I'm guessing the buttons are now not what we should be focusing on. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we've got to, um... So not only do we have to put them in the correct places, we've got to group them all together. Okay. Okay, can we... We can cog them. Quadrant one. He used all of the figurines in each pin. He's just trying to confuse you. He knew you'd try it. Great. Cordelia? This is where the group for this trap goes. Okay, so... Oh. Excuse me, but the upper quadrant is... Where was it? Where was it? There we go. Square pin. The fourth quadrant is... This is where the group for this trap goes. Okay, yeah, the, um, putting your arm in the glass hole thing. Uh, there we go. The 
top lower one is... This is where the group for this trap goes. Erica's. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Erica, yep. Nope, uh, excuse me, what I want to put that there. And then that means this one must be the coffin. Okay, so let's see. Well, we can get Erica's done because we, we, uh, yep, only read blood. And we want Scott Trap. The spiked one was the, um, coffin. It was, you bleed, he breathes. The bars and moon was the Iron Maiden. And that was, your blood will save him time. Because it's like, it's like an, um, an elevator door thing. And so that means, it goes there and... Okay. Hmm. That doesn't appear to have done anything. Is there something I'm missing? Hey, Cordelia. I'll offer what help I can in determining where the figurines go. Maybe I got them the wrong way around. This is where the group for this trap goes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got it right. The bars and moon, the Iron Maiden, your blood will save him. Wait. No, I got them the mixed Erica. I got them mixed She's up. Been Excuse leading me. The charge nicely. Uh, I mixed these two up. Your blood will save him, goes there, and blood buys him time, goes here. There we go. Oh. Is that still sure you were the one in control? Huh. It's quite dearly. I, I don't, I, I guess she kind of thought, oh, I'm in control because he's chained to a wall. But here's the thing, Keith is a lot smarter than Cordelia. And I'm not saying that to be mean to Cordelia, I mean that Keith is a literal genius. If I was holding a genius captive, I would not be so bold or proud to think I've got him under control because he'll be thinking. He'll always be thinking. And I can't... I can't stop that, and neither could Cordelia. Consider this. There is a Max figurine. It's in a place only Cordelia would know. Anything? He talked to me. He says the next one is Max's, and that only you would know where it is. Damn you, Keith. Can you give me one thing straight? Let's look around to see if my memory triggers. So, Cordelia has kept saying about the fireplace. Max loved to sit by the fireplace for hours. Can we... We can't give her that. Max would spend hours there. Maybe this is what Keith meant. This was Max's favorite place in the house. Now we need to put out the fire to search through it. Okay, and... 
Erica, you have that cup of water. This should help. Now let's look. I found Max, I think. You can keep it. I thought you liked his games. I never did. That was the problem. Hmm. That's interesting, given that when, um... When Cordelia and uh, Keith were sneaking around to try and figure out what, um... What Max was kind of planning in his office with the, uh, the orrery and the spaceship shaped like a camera. Keith did seem to be very, um... Oh, so it went there. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, Keith seemed to really be enjoying himself. I didn't get the, the feeling that Cordelia wasn't enjoying herself. Although, to be fair, she did tell him, like, you know, calm down, Keith. Oh. Yeah, we need three. Can you cog either of these? You can't. Okay. Um. He's attached to... These? This was the one for the George siblings. They held each other's hands as they were killed. Not as long as yeah. it's filled with spikes. He killed Joe Hollowell in one of these. There's something different about it. So we can't... We can't really do anything else with them. With the traps. And we can't... We can't cog them. Until we have a third. Okay. Um. Hmm. Can we interact? With these in any other way? This is not yeah, going no. to work with this. Hmm. Magnifying glass, perhaps? Think, Erica, think. What are those for? It's Cordelia. It won't come out. Okay. Oh, have I just shot myself in the foot there? Was I supposed to look at Max's figure before, um... Ooh. Oh dear. Um... Let's go upstairs, see if there's anything else. I don't suppose, no, we can't, we can't even interact with the fireplace now. Um, hmm. Cordelia can't. I don't want to go in there. Yeah. It brings up memories I'd rather forget. Okay. Oh, so you can look He at was here place. recently. But we can't do anything else. And we can't... We can't take anything from Any here. Any wounds I'm... Yeah, she won't take the first aid kit, she won't take the toothbrush, she won't take the alcohol. We have no reason to use the sink. Ooh, I get the feeling I was supposed to look at, um... At Max's... thing. Ooh, dear. Um...
I can't cog them. And they won't... Max. Cordelia's brother. Can I... Oh, so I can remove it. Oh, thank goodness. It's badly burned. There's something written on it, but it's way too small for me to read. That's why we combine with the magnifying glass. It says, glass. find a light in the darkness. Any ideas? No, but I can look around and see if I remember anything. Find a light in the darkness. A light in the darkness. Either of these triggering your memory, Cordelia? They look... happy. This must be Cordelia's father with someone important. That's... Daddy. Things would be so different if he was still around. He's with Senator Aaron Light. Oh. Good man. She had a niece. Davies did. She loved her to pieces. When she was around, you could almost see Davy's smile. Maybe she wasn't perfect, but she didn't deserve what you did to her. Even if she didn't help you when she could have, even if you went to prison. Maybe she didn't deserve her rank, but everyone deserves to live. Daddy would have said that. He liked people that did good. He said the Senator's last name was not a coincidence. Wait, Aaron Light. A light, look for a light. Keith, you tricky little... Erica, look at this. Did he hide it there? Only one way to find out. We cut it open with the razor. Here, let me take a look. Ugh. I'd be very eager to kill him if I were you. My job is justice, not revenge. I'm not like you. We'll see. When the two of you are face to face. To be perfectly blunt, I don't want to kill Keith just to spite Cordelia <laughs> at this stage. But yeah, it's when we uh, pushed, after we pushed our leg into the spikes to get into the mausoleum. Kane's figurine of me. Ooh. Fucking creepy. But now we, we have three things, which means we can use our, um, the, the green cognition. I forget that what that one is, the projection. I think. Come on, Cordelia. Okay. So, Erica. There's one missing. This must be who we're looking for. Knowing Keith, we're not going to find it easily. We'll need to figure this one out. And... Max. There's one missing. This yep. must be who we're looking for. Knowing Keith, we're not going to find it easily. We'll need to figure this one out. Well... Erica can do this. Oh... Dad! What the fuck? Dad! No. No! You knew about this! No, but I know where they are now. Oh. I just saw it. Shit, they must have followed me. Not so fast. You need to get me out of here. I can leave through the back, but you have to help me. Oh, shit! Go! You'll need this. Bring McAdams to Mount Auburn Cemetery. Where Scott died? Oh. We'll save your dad. He's one of the good guys. He's reenacting Scott's death.
What were you doing back there? That doesn't matter. You have to listen to me. If you are not going to answer my questions, save it for your attorney, Reed. <sighs> Damn it. Okay, what, what have we got in here? The window, the radio. We're still on the back roads. The highway is another few miles away. If I'm gonna get out of here or convince him to let me go, I need to do it before then. Can we convince him? I've really done it this time. How the hell am I gonna get out of this? How am I gonna get him to come with me, willing to know? What do we have in our inventory? Everything's, but we do have a caltrop. Aha, okay. McAdams. What? He's not gonna believe that. <sighs> yeah, right. He's not gonna listen to a word I have to say as long as he's in control of this situation. I need to get out of these cuffs and into that driver's seat. Somehow. Okay. Hmm. Okay, can we... we can't... If we can't use the caltrop to pick the lock. Um... Can we wind down the window? Ugh. McAdams locked the windows. Only he can roll it down. Okay, um... McAdams. What? Uh, we're carsick. <sighs> can we stop for a minute? I'm getting carsick. I wasn't born yesterday, Reed. <laughs> Suck it up. Jerk. I also wasn't born deaf. <laughs> or blind. Oh, God damn it. Mind rolling the window down? Your cologne's killing me here. Fine. Thank you. Um... We... So we... we dropped the caltrop. He's gonna... He's, surely he'd see that. Can we... Can we get him to put the radio on? Well, we can't interact with it, so... What are you doing? Trying yeah. to stretch. You might not know this, but sitting in a car in cuffs, not very comfortable. Hmm. I need some noise in here. Yeah, we need him to turn on the radio. That could help distract McAdams. If only I could get it turned on. McAdams. What? Please? Fine, you win the quiet game. Turn on the radio, at least. Your comfort is not my concern at this point. Why don't we talk about what you did to Cordelia Smith, then? You want to discuss that? Because I could spend the whole ride talking about it. Fine. Radio it is. Thank you. No. Shit! Oh. What the fuck was that? I do not need this right now! Oh, oh, stop. oh I forgot everything! Believe it or not, I really am sorry, but I don't have time for this. Erica, how, how did you accomplish this? How did you get him in the cuffs? Oh, we choked him out. Are you fucking out. insane, Reed? Let me out of these cuffs now! I can't do that, McAdams. Kane is out there, and if I don't bring you to her, he's going to kill my father. What the hell are you talking about? McAdams, I... Save it. I have no interest in anything you have to say at this point, Reed. You attacked a federal agent, and now you handcuff your supervisor? How the fuck do you think this is going to end? Badly. I did... It didn't need to go down like... Yeah, I... I didn't want it to go down like this. Genuinely, it... It, oh god, it, everything's gone to shit. I didn't want it to go down like this, McAdams. If you just trusted me, if you'd ever trust anyone, we wouldn't even be in this situation. That's what your problem is. What are you talking about? You haven't trusted me since Scott was kidnapped, if ever. But if you'd actually given Cordelia Smith a chance, a lot of people might still be alive today. Reed, God damn it! Anyone that pulls half the shit you've pulled over these years would have been fired on the spot. You still had your job because Davies and I knew you were a good agent. 
My job requires me to do things by the book. You don't like the book. I get that. But what I've done, I've done to protect you. And your life will be much easier the minute that you understand that I'm not your enemy. What do you know about Cordelia Smith? Well, tell him. I know the truth. I know what you did. Ignored her, arrested her, the cover-up, all of it. You refuse to stop living in the past, Reed. Mistakes happen. They may be tragic, but there's no going back. You're right or you're wrong. I think this is something Erica's gonna have to learn, and I think... I do agree with him. I think that... Because I think Cordelia's living in the past. I think she's so wrapped up in what happened that she can't move forward. And I think Erica needs to learn that. You're right. There's no change in the past or bringing back the people you've lost or wronged. The best anyone can do is learn from it. If it happened again today, I'd do things differently. I'm sorry for what happened to that woman, but there's nothing I can do about it now. For your own sake, you have to stop making it personal, Erica. You made it personal with Jetta. You did your best to protect her, and I appreciate that. But understand that if I had made it personal, I would never have put her in such risk. I couldn't let my feelings for her get in the way. Oh! You couldn't understand. You don't have a family, Sam. And that's probably the reason why, Erica. Kane. Look, I'm just asking you to listen. I'm not crazy. Kane is back out there, and he will kill my father if I don't hurry. And what makes you so certain of any of that? The man's been a ghost for three years now. Are you sure this isn't your feelings clouding your judgment once again? We need to trust him. If we want him to trust us, then we can't be cagey. I know, because Cordelia Smith is the one behind every killing. And the Kane killer is her brother Keith Smith, a.k.a. Jeff Therian. How can I believe you, given the way you've been acting? You shot John! That was an accident. You're FBI. Your job doesn't allow for accidents. Fine. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. You found this information at the towers? Yes, there's more. I'd rather do this with your help, McAdams, but I'm doing it either way. Keith Smith has been missing and presumed dead for six years. What a better way to get away with murder. He forced Cordelia to kill Max after learning he wasn't their biological brother. She took the blame, and he was free to disappear and keep killing. Think about it, McAdams. He fits the profile. Caucasian male, 25 to 45, highly intelligent, obsessed with his work, plenty of reasons to be hung up on close sibling relationships. Shit. Then where the hell has he been for the last three years? Chained up in the basement of the Enthon Towers. What? So what's it gonna be? Fine. If it'll bring them in and save your father, you've got my help. I have to warn you, Cordelia wants you dead. I can take care of myself. How do you know where the hell you're heading? Cordelia told me. You just told me this woman is a murderer. And she's also a victim of your negligence. Are you justifying her, Reed? No, McAdams. I know what my job is. I'm just saying that sometimes things aren't as black and white as I wish they were. Not even in that book of yours. Hello. You came. I told you I'd help. You brought him. What do you want with him? That is between him and me. Don't we have something better to do than chat about this? You're right. Let's go. We're wasting time. Oh, God. That so we're working with began. a killer now, Reed. Is that your big plan? Listen, she brought me here. I feel I can trust her intentions. He's down there. If we want to save your father, we'll have to play his game. We'll have to let him capture us. Otherwise, the outcome... I can't see it ending well. How is that a good plan at all? We'll have a chance. I see these sorts of things, remember? 
You have to trust me. Get me the fuck out of yep, here. we got this again. You'll betray me. You've seen that one too? I told you, the future is a fickle thing. I do want to help you, Erica, but I am who I am. I make no promises about what happens down there. The same. I can't promise what I'll do after my father is safe. Are you ready? Will you keep my father safe? I'll handle Kane. You're too invested in this, Erica. I'll do my job, McAdams. But I know Kane better than you do. Fine. But I'll be there if you screw up. Dad! He's alive, still. Why do you have to bring a full party? It makes things more... difficult. Let him go, you bastard! Didn't you get enough with Scott? No. I've been waiting too long to finish this. And it has to be done right. Cordelia, would you tie Erica to this? And if you try anything, I will shoot someone! And that might be you. Apologies, oh. Agent. Well, there goes McAdams. So much for protecting our dad. Make sure those are tight. Did you take her weapon? Yes. And his? You don't need to worry about him. He's my problem. Then take care of her. Stand over there where I can see you both. You wanted to copy me eventually, Cordelia. Isn't that right? Kill me? The same I kill? I never wanted to kill you, Keith. No. You just made me wish I was dead. The Cordelia I loved, she would never be so cruel. You changed everything when you made me kill Max. And we're here now and can't even talk the way we used to. That connection only you and I had. I don't want you dead, but for this to stop, you have to die. It's a mystery to me what goes on in your beautiful brain sometimes. But I have a theory. What will you do after I'm dead? I never mourned over Max's death, but... But you do have a conscience, Cordelia. And you've been suppressing it so you could act freely. But when it wakes up, when moms and dads and Max's memory awaken you, there won't be a swift death that will allow your brain to cope with what you've done to get here. Your domino effect failed, just as I knew it would. Agent Reed never killed me. And so, who will kill me now, sister? It won't be you. We both know that your conscience wouldn't let you. Exactly my thoughts. And Erica Reed, I've learned so much about you over the years. Now we finally get to be properly introduced. I'm curious to know how much pain you can endure. As I push this lever, this spike will move towards you. If you scream, if you do so much as whisper, I will press this at full speed in the other direction, over to your father. It will kill him instantly. What do you get from all this? It's a subject that's always interested me, these human connections of love and family. Because the only time I felt a connection to her, she preferred someone else. So, shall we begin the experiment? Oh, God. I think this is the perfect time to end. I, I know I'm leaving on a cliffhanger, but... <laughs> What can I say? I'm cruel. So please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.